Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Gmo from Workshop Republic and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to custom paint my cornhole boards. All right, today's going to be a simple video. Uh, I'm not going to show you how I made the cornhole boards because there are a ton of videos on YouTube showing you how to do it and I don't think you would get anything extra out of a new video from me. Uh, but I do think it might be helpful if you see how I'm painting those and how you can also custom paint yours if you have it. I already did prep before starting the painting process. So I already sanded uh, everything up to 220 and everything is pretty much clean. So it's just ready to paint. So let me show you how I'm gonna do it. All right, so the way I'm gonna paint this is I'm gonna do a, kind of like a stripe pattern where we have three color stripes in the boards and I'm gonna use probably red blue and the natural wood color so the first step here is first applying the painter's tape to mask the places that i want to paint and after that i'm going to apply a coat of primer to the areas that i'm actually going to paint after the primer send it a little bit and start the painting process so let's start with applying the tape first All right, let me just quickly show you what I'm trying to do here. The outside here is gonna be one color. Where the tape is, is gonna be wood color. This tiny strip here and here are gonna be the same color as the outside. So if this is blue, this is also gonna be blue. And in the middle is gonna be red. So I'm doing, for one of the bars, this is gonna be blue, blue, red, blue, blue, and wood, wood. And for the other one, I'm just changing the order of the colors. So this is gonna be red, red, blue, red, red, wood, wood. So the only ones that are gonna match is the wood color. And what I did here is from the hole, which is six inches, I measured one inch in this direction and one inch in this direction so this is going to be the main center color this is also one inch and this is kind of going to be a continuation of the outside color and this is just the width of the tape that i'm using and in this case is the frog tape which is awesome if you're doing painting because the when you remove it it has just clean lines so I would recommend you would use this one instead of the regular blue tape. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive, but it's totally worth it if you're doing painting jobs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just put, put primer everywhere. And after the primer is dry, I'm gonna do a little sanding and then start the painting process. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention is you can see I did kind of like a patch here because initially I was just gonna paint the all the sides on the same color that I'm gonna do the outside one but I decided to just match the colors on top so you're gonna kind of see like a, a good flow here so yeah so let me continue this and we can see how it is uh, in a few minutes priming is done I'm gonna wait two to four hours according to instructions before I come back do a light sanding and then start the real painting two hours later all right so I'm using a 220 grit on the lowest setting possible and I'm just gonna go through the boards but I'm gonna take the 
tape off first uh, so I can get a good sanding and then I'll apply the tape again and we're gonna have to do that in a couple different steps because I still have to do the same color from the outside on a little piece of the inside so I'll take this off put it again paint it on the main color then I'll put another tape and paint it again but you understand once I get to it Okay, I just quickly want to show you before I start sanding and painting how clear and crisp this line is. No bleed at all. This tape is really, really good. All right, so yesterday I finished the second coat and removed the tape straight away and left this to dry overnight. It has been almost 10, 12 hours since uh, this has been drying. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply tape and paint the middle section of both. Uh, after that, we leave it, apply a second coat, and that will be it. So all right, let's go to the next step. All right, and this was it for this project. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have something that you did similar, please let me know down below. I would love to see a custom painting you did on your board. And I would highly appreciate if you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out a video every week and I already have another one planned for you guys uh, coming hopefully next week.
So yeah, subscribe so you can see that one and many more. Thank you so much.